This is a video teaching you how to draw using Google Docs. First thing you're going to do in your doc window is go to Create New Drawing. As soon as you create a new drawing, you'll see at the top it says Untitled Drawing. What I want you to do is rename that Untitled Drawing with your name and a description of what it is. This is a self-portrait, so I'll call it a self-portrait. Google Drawing has lots of tools, but ultimately what you're doing is drawing shapes, a collection of different shapes. So I'm going to make a shape sort of like that. When you draw a shape, you have two properties. There's the line color or the line, and you can make it weighted, heavier. You can make it dotted. And you also have the fill, which is the inside color. So I'm going to pick a color for the inside. I'm also, you can also choose no line, so you make the line transparent. So I'm going to change this color to white. And then what you can do is you can also make other shapes, but if you want them to be completely proportional or perfect shapes, like a circle, you hold shift. Watch what happens when I let go of shift. And then I hold shift again, it creates a circle, I let go, it makes it an oval. So I want to make a small pupil for the eye, I want to fill it in black and I want to drag it over the eye. So you can make these pupils as big or small as you would like. And there is a, one eyeball. You'll notice though when you draw when you drag it, if you don't click on both the objects, it treats it as two objects. So I can highlight both objects or I can hold shift. I'm holding shift now and I click and then you'll notice both things are blue. I can right click and say group and then I have one object. I can then copy that and paste it, and then I have two objects. You'll notice when I line it up, you'll see these little lines that show up that show you that it's perfectly aligned. So that's helps, that helps you with the alignment. I can also then go flip horizontally, and I can make them face each other. I can This dot up here is the rotate button, and you can click up there and get a little bit of rotation. So you get two shapes. So those let's say are a eyes. I then want to draw another shape maybe for the head and you guys can be as creative as you want. If you see yourself as having a triangular shaped head, please make yours triangular. So when I have this object, I just drew this object on top of those other eyeballs. So what we do to fix that is we right click, we go to order and we say send to back. So if you're resizing things, you can hold shift while resizing. And then you can uh, see the objects. There's also the option of having a scribble. Scribble is a line. Lines don't have a fill. Lines are only lines. So if I wanted to draw like a maybe a chin line for this character and another face and another face, I could do that. This arrow up here is going to be helpful for when you want to select things. If you have the line tool selected, you may, um, you may keep drawing lines until you tell it to stop. So you have other shapes like this one. I can change the color of it. I can rotate it. And I can start making it into di different variations of a hat. or a hairband. Um, you can have shapes that have inside things in them. If you connect the beginning to the end of the line, so this shape doesn't have a fill. So you want to make shapes that do have fill. The curve line tool will let you connect a shape like that. You can change the color, you can turn the line color off. So you select everything, you can move all your objects together. You can create other objects, put some call outs, do whatever you want to make your shapes. And you can resize everything at once. You can group objects, you can resize objects. So what you should do is draw yourself somewhere 
doing something. And the way you accomplish that is you make uh, all kinds of shapes. So you can make this guy's body just kind of doughy. But remember, these are your drawings of yourself. You can make everything, just a combination of all kinds of strange shapes. Oops. You can copy and paste objects. You can make any kind of shape can be any type of object. So maybe these are some pants. Then maybe you give them some shoes. So all these, uh, each object is its own thing. So you can rotate, make the shoes black, send them to back, copy paste, flip, send to back. Then if you want to draw them somewhere, you have to draw more shapes. The, you have to tell the computer what you're drawing in order for it to know what you're going to fill. So we'll make this kind of a, no, we already did that color. We'll do this kind of a blue. I'm going to copy that shape. I'm going to paste that shape. And perhaps I'm going to draw some trying, I mean, mountains. <laughs> so you have to send this to back, but then you also have to send this to back again as well. And then you can use the line tool to finish it off. This line tool, everywhere you click, it's going to put it a little edge, so it makes for perfect drawing of mountains. I'm going to hold. I'm going to use the arrow tool, the selection tool. I'm going to hold shift and click. I'm going to then group these two objects. I'm going to copy and paste, and then I'm going to resize it. And then you can make multiple similar objects with very little work. So you send everything to back, you go back to this object. And then the final thing you want to do is add your name. Your name is going to be put into a text box. So you have to make sure the text box is large enough for the space that you want it to go in. And that's it. So you have to draw yourself somewhere doing something. You have to use select, line, fill, order, rotate, group.